Welcome back everybody, welcome back to World of Warships, this is me Dees Games here again and today providing you some cruiser action because once again a lot of you wanted to see some epic cruiser action and I think I have something really special for you because this is literally my my final game, my last game with Cleveland because yesterday I already researched uh, Pepsi Cola and I didn't really record any Cleveland gameplay so I decided to give it to go one final epic battle and wow what a battle this is and weird thing and actually pretty exciting thing is that uh, I don't know what I'm going to get from this battle literally this game is played by like I finished playing this game like two minutes ago uh, still waiting for end results World of Warships is minimized so yeah I don't know what did we get from that until we see that in the end, obviously. Uh, so let's see what we're going to be able to do in Cleveland. But I have to say that right off the bat I have to say that uh, playing with Cleveland was just so good, really. It is so good cruiser. I like the fire. You don't get torpedoes, but oh god, I love the firepower on it. Like Catlin Cannon when you can fire with your four main battery units, like at the same time you have four main battery units and each battery unit has three guns. Right now fire engage you at that uh, destroyer because you can do that. Critically damaged, he repaired critically damaged units and uh, look what is going to happen next time. Already destroyed torpedo launching units again. He's out of torpedoes now. This guy is just going to be wrecked with HE ammunition easily. Take out the engine, take out the rudder. And it is this, this destroyer is going to be like headless chicken. And already, not even looking, already our first kill. Now, looking at the bottom middle area, you can see that we have scout plane. And under Y button we have special thing for US cruisers as well. That is like epic, <laughs> that Deutsch, Deutsch gasm. <laughs> but we have that epic AA power or anti-aircraft ability and I see enemy torpedo planes. So obviously I activated it because I thought those torpedo planes are coming for me. Luckily or sadly actually, maybe uh, not. Uh, otherwise I would have been able to destroy all of them, most likely. Sometimes not, sometimes your your AA unit is drunk, but more often than not you're going to be able to take down at least five. At least five planes. Five out of six. Second kill, this guy got wrecked. Three citadel hits in a row, and actually you are able to do that because you have 12 shots with each salvo. So the firepower, as I already mentioned many times, is just epic and this is why I enjoy Cleveland so much. Now, the biggest thing about cruisers right now is that they are too weak versus battleships. You have to, you have to work your ass off to be able to destroy one battleship because they are able to heal, uh, they are able to do all that. You are going to get a lot of bounces, especially when they are not showing your when they are not showing their side towards you like under 90 degrees of angle and even if they are going to angle it a little bit you are going to or their hull a little bit uh, you are going to bounce with a lot of shells meanwhile they turn towards you they fire with full salvo and you lose sometimes 100% of your HP and now epic dodges on the way boom tail flip dodge I actually don't know if tail flip dodge is proper term to use over here because uh, I made it up basically, <laughs> I haven't heard it before, but it seems to be pretty, uh, pretty nice name for that, but the thing with tail flip touch is that the timing has to be perfect, the timing when you start turning your rudder, like it has to be perfect sometimes, too perfect. Now fighting versus that phoenix, it is pretty easy and unfair fight, boom, done, headshot, because um, Cleveland is specially good at taking down enemy cruisers and enemy destroyers because of the epic firepower you have uh, your AG shells versus destroyers your AP shells versus cruisers are perfect versus battleships sometimes you're going to struggle 
and uh, versus carriers as well. So you are really good at taking down carriers. Mm. Like this is like dessert for you. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to be able to take down that independence. We'll see. Now he sent out his torpedo planes. Uh, this was the first set of planes, second set of planes started up as well. He's wasting too much time over here because you can see that my AA unit finally started doing some work and uh, he didn't release the torpedoes earlier on. Now I know he's going to make bottleneck. Now I'm thinking how I'm going to be able to dodge. Now what bottleneck is, basically when you try to dodge one set of torpedoes, you have to launch another set of torpedoes from another direction. Like, basically undodgeable. And just look at the TA Bauer. Wow. Wow. And here you go. Full stop, turning to the left side. And we should be able to dodge every single... Actually every single, yeah. He only fired two because we took down a lot of them. Turning my guns already. He's trying to run away, but did you see that? He crashed. <laughs> Come here, scumbag. Right into the pooper. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? Using AG shots in here. I just want to put him on fire. Just in case, and HG is so fun. Like critically damaged hits, special citadel hits. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Just look at that firepower. Another torpedoes. Uh, two sets of torpedoes actually. Uh, I think we have to take at least one of them. Yep. Luckily only one of them. And second one as well. Somehow we managed to survive three set of torpedo blades. Now I believe the main thing that saved us over here was my full stop. People usually don't think uh, or they're not going to wait something something like that from you that you're going to stop in the middle of uh, the fight. In the middle of torpedo fight. They're going to think that you're trying to dodge them somehow. Sometimes you have to outthink your enemies, like, you have to beat them in your mind as well. And this is what I like about playing versus carriers, although they are super annoying class in the game, but the thinking game is uh, what I enjoy about this, it is the only thing. Because the class itself is pretty boring, but the thinking game. The same thing is going on when you're fighting in destroyer versus destroyer fight as well. If uh, two USA destroyers, uh, for example, are fighting each against each other, because USA versus Japanese destroyer, uh, I would say that I'm going to win 80-85% of fights if I mean my USA destroyer uh, versus Japanese destroyer. Close range fights, Japanese destroyer has no chance. If you know just a little bit about um, dodging torpedoes. So yeah, um, I'm not going to cap for obvious reasons. I want to get some extra damage done. Seems like yeah, that Congo is going to be busy with our battleship here. He's being tortured. Hopefully destroyed as well. I sent my scout out to look out for that um, <coughs> enemy. Second independence carrier. They had two scumbags. If you remember, one minute ago we had to dodge three set of planes. Now I see random torpedoes coming towards me, and I thought, what the hell is going on? I don't see any airplanes and stuff like that. And then I realized they have one destroyer left in the game. Luckily, uh, this guy didn't have enough torp brains, but I see another set of torpedo planes and uh, right now I was like come on guys give me a freaking break like I've dodged so many torpedo planes so many destroyer torpedoes but no this is not enough as we can see luckily my AA guys are doing some work over here we can see that we can bring down yeah five planes shot down already so one squadron is down to one torpedo plane but the second one is at full capability is this going to be my end? Full stop, full throttle now. 
Are we going to be able to dodge? But we are floating and uh, boom, we are going down. <sighs> we are going down. It was pretty epic fight in my opinion. Just a lot of action happened. 28 planes shot down. My record is actually 45 with a Magi or actually 49. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, let's hope the game is over. Well, it should be over at least a draw. So let's check the scoreboard live. And wow guys, we won the battle as well. What a way, what a final battle for Cleveland, really. 120 hits, 28 aircraft units shot down, 6 critical damaged, uh, 4 destroyed ships, Citadel hits, 320,000 credits, close to 5,000 experience. So, what did you get over here? 2176 raw experience. <laughs> Not bad. Really crazy. Really crazy finish. 86,000 damage done. With secondary battery, over 90,000 damage done, actually. Hard to ask more. And actually, wow, how close finish is that? 19 minutes 40. 7 seconds in the game, that means 13 seconds left. And they have one ship alive, I can see from the corner of my eye. Or maybe it is not updated. Anyways, um, thank you team. Thank you for winning this battle for me. <laughs> this final battle. So, yeah. What more to say? Nothing, I guess. And I believe it shows the profit down there. Yeah, it actually shows so 320,000 profit from the last game. Because over here we can see 351,000. Crazy game, crazy game anyways. Uh, Pepsi Cola, as I told you already, already is researched. You can see that over here. Right now I'm not going to buy that. Because right now our next big purchase is going to be Yamato. Timite Yamato. We finally finished grinding. Yamato as well, so next episode most likely is going to be about Yamato. I have credits I need. I believe I need a couple of hundred thousand credits more just to buy all the equipment as well. Uh, but I'm afraid I have to sell a few things, for example like that Nagato, because I'm not going to use that anyway. And seems like we got one extra skill point as well. So now four in total, I can pick advanced firing training. The main thing over here is plus 20% to AA engagement area radius. We can boost our AA power even more. So let's do that. Let's do that right now. Boom, done. Now I have epic commander for Pepsi Cola. Yeah, farewell my friend. It was super awesome to play with you, Cleveland. So. I hope this was epic enough for you as well, uh, because once again a lot of guys want to see epic cruiser action and destroyer action, because battleships are too boring sometimes. But uh, I try to make battleships interesting as well for you, <laughs> somehow, we'll see. I hope to see you in here next time as well, take care and bye.